Hey everybody, Ian from Subpixel. Today we have yet another feature for you looking at a game that is very popular. A lot of people are talking about, a lot of people love to play, but that I know almost nothing about and that I've never played before. So far we've looked at Star Citizen, we've looked at Roblox, and today we're looking at Escape from Tarkov. That's right, the Arma meets Stalker meets PUBG meets Battle Royale meets realistic shooter that is taking over the multiplayer market for the last four years. That's right, this game's been in closed beta. I had to pay $45 to get into this. It's basically early access. That's the way I'm looking at it. But that makes it perfect for this series, where we take a look at a game, I play at least one hour of it, and then I give an objective, factual opinion that cannot be refuted. Is Escape from Tarkov any good? This is the very first screen in the game. Get ready. In this game, you will have to fight for your life and survive the perils of Tarkov. Former mission objectives have lost their purpose. Be prepared to die and lose everything you had with you in every raid you enter. Yes, you will die and most probably very often, but remember, this is still a game, best of luck out there. This is what I was talking about with intimidating. They need a splash screen at the very open of the game to say, we will hurt you over and over again. Choose your character. Am I a bear? <laughs> Am I a bear? I I don't think I'm a bear. I don't think I'm a twink. I'm I've discussed this. I'm I'm a middle. You are an operator of Battle Encounter Assault Regiment Bear. I don't think that's what bear means. Heck yeah. Why is there only three? If I'm gonna be a bear, I, I need a lot of character customization. <laughs> I love that. I, see, they say it's a beta version. They're throwing all these warnings up. But this beta started in July of 2017. Come on now. I'm, I'm not trying to rush your development, but at some point you gotta, you gotta poopy or get off the pot, you know? Trading, hideout. I have heard there's a marketplace in this game. So let's let's take a look at this real quick. This is a lot like Stalker. This, I remember this. Okay, this is my stash. AK-74M, that's pretty good. How many rounds do I have? 90, 120 rounds. I don't know what this is. Still don't know what that is. This is a lot of stuff, but I think I like it. Okay, wait, let me go to hideout. Oh, it is a hub world. That was neat. Did you see that? Did you see that? Well, you can just do a top down so you can come in and be like, okay, all right, time to unlock the workbench. Boom. Unlock it. Done. Or you can be like, you know what? I want to run around a little bit. Okay, let's just, uh, I still don't know what this game is, but let's just hop into a match. I don't know what scav is. I, they have not, okay. Look, I just wanna, okay. I don't know how to play this game at all. They have not told me anything. What does that mean? Insane? Hard, hard, insane. I, this little sign down here means insane, which makes me think that it's very difficult. All of these are hard. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. This game, gotta be honest with you, not great with the ramp up. I don't know if there's a tutorial. You don't have the proper map. Can I, can I put a map in my inventory? Guys, I want to love this game so badly, but I, it's not, it's not being, it's not being nice to me. The beta version of this game will include a special offline mode that allows players to enter the raid completely alone. Yeah, let's do this. If I'm reading that right, it means I can just do, do what I want. The testing mode, let's, let's see what happens. God, I look good. Mikhail, you're looking good, buddy. I found the reload button. Let's go take a look at these controls. Got lean. Oh, I've got some smooth lean. Oh. Peeky pokey. This feels pretty good. Tactical water. Okay, all right. You know what? Let's just, let's hop in somewhere. You do not have the proper map. Acquire a map. 
Okay, well, let's go. Let's go. Can I buy a map from somebody, please? Do you have maps? You, you don't have maps. Hi, therapist. Can I get... Oh, you're just a medic. I feel like the servers are being a little wonky and not loading right. Here we go. But he doesn't have any info items. I'm looking for info stuff. See, I feel like maps would be down... These better be maps. How, how do I buy... I have no maps in my inventories. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it anywhere. Let's just... Let's just start in the woods. I gotta be honest with you. The onboarding in this game is real bad so far. <laughs> Very bad. Okay, let's... I, I, don't have, I don't have a map. I don't know what's going on. So let's just go loot. I think that's what I'm supposed to do in this game is loot stuff. So let's do that. Pretty sure if I die, I die. That's it. Done so. I mean, not... In the game completely, but that's the end of this raid. Other than that, I just shoot people, I guess? And loot and steal their stuff, and then I think I want to get to an extraction zone at some point? I don't know. I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. You're saying look it up. I don't think it's fair for the whole premise of this series is that I am picking the game up and playing an hour of it. The game needs to be able to handle fresh players like myself. So I'm not going to look up guides. I'm not going to look up how-tos. It should be able to handle that player onboarding. And if it can't handle that, that's a problem. Wow, I'd really love to play this game. Really love to. Looks like fun. I hope I can play it someday. Okay, here we go. Find an extraction point. Don't have a map. That's not a person, that's a bush. Right? That's a bush. God, that was a loud bush. This game's very intense already. God, that hurt. I don't see anything yet. Cool vehicle, though. This game looks really good. Oh, no. I have made a loud noise. Breaching! Okay, one more time. That's pretty neat. Up. Reaching the portal potty. Hi. What's that say? Boom! I had your nip. Ow! Ow! I think there may have been a landmine, and then it sounded like somebody sniped me. Three minutes and forty-three seconds. Uh, I lost a limb. My left hand, least damaged. Got a bruise, traveled a kilometer, and I fired one shot at a porta potty. <laughs> oh, no, no, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. I am still, I have to heal outside of the match. So like if I start another match right now, I'll have nine health. Choose what you would like to heal immediately by the therapist service. It's not an obligatory procedure. You can heal over time or by using med kits. I feel like if you die in a raid, then you should not have to pay to heal. Okay, let's wait another uh, four or five minutes to get into a raid and die again. Begin raid as a scav, a local bandit with a random set of armor. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to shoreline. Player scavs will spawn at random locations and times. Health and equipment is random. So you're kind of like a troll, but you can still pull loot, but you can't pull experience. Oh, so I joined in as a random party. Let's follow this guy. Oh. It's gunshots that way. Let's head towards the gunfire. What was that? These bushes, man, they're way too loud. I mean, granted, that's a bit of realism I like. You can make too much noise running through bushes, but it's terrifying. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm getting shots on. I think I just killed somebody. I don't know if I was supposed to or not, but... Where'd they go?
He's still alive. <laughs> this is rather intense. Just trying to get some distance here. Hi. Did I get him? One dead guy. Oh my god, I killed two people! How? That felt pretty great. So let's see if I can extract White House or the Road to Customs. God, I'm making a lot of noise. It's so dark in here. Are there flashlights in this game? Is that a big wall over there? Breaching time. Again, I don't have a map, because I have not found a map yet. Hi, boys. Yoo-hoo. Is that artillery? There is somebody nearby. Is that shrapnel or is somebody shooting at me? Take some more shots, coward. Well, this is exciting. This is like some spooky, scary stuff. But honestly, a little bit dull. <laughs> Maybe it's because I just started and I don't have a lot at risk, but this feels kind of empty. I feel like even in a PUBG map, which is a pretty big map and a long distance game, long distance shooting game, you still see more people more often than this. I have 10 minutes left, but I don't know where the attraction is, so... Man, sometimes this, like, graphical options, like, that is just a mess of gray around that tree. I don't know, man, this game is not doing a great job at onboarding, and it feels like this could be a very intense and engrossing game, but it's doing a lot to push you away at first. You know, it's punishing you a lot. It's, um... Not really explaining systems or mechanics. The graphics make it a bit... They add a lot to the atmosphere, but then it... When you add that in a PvP environment and you're trying to pixel hunt for other people, it just becomes infuriating. Is that a goofer? Hello? Hello, are you a goofer? This is definitely intense. I'll give it that. But, man, it's hard for me to care at all. <laughs> because, like, you gotta onboard the player, you know? You gotta, like, eke him in a little bit, get him excited about the game, get him enjoying it, then make him care about- get him some gear he likes, then make him care about the gear by putting it at risk, whereas this is just like, guess what, hardcore buddy, get ready to die. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Also, I have no idea where I am, because there's- there's no map. I have to get the map somehow. I guess I find it? It didn't look like I could buy it. I didn't I didn't find it in any of the vendors. So while I appreciate what this game is going for, I, I don't know how you build a player base with a game like this. I know there is a player base. There are definitely people who are going to toughen it out. But, you know, I, PUBG is very similar to this, where it's death has a cost. You know, you lose the round, you're out completely. And the shooting is realistic. Got some distance to it. You're definitely pixel hunting. But it's also easy to pick up. And it doesn't matter how many hours you've played the game, you're starting the same as everybody else with nothing. And then you gotta loot and make your way. So that's easy for newcomers to get into. It's just like, let me do a round. Maybe I die in five minutes, maybe I die in 20 minutes. Whereas this game, I mean, I feel like I've played this for an hour and I've gotten nowhere with it. So, like at this point in the match, I'm just trying to find people. Maybe I should do this. Woohoo! Howdy, howdy! Just trying to get in a firefight. Well, got in a firefight. Definitely hit him. At least I'm pretty sure I did. What happened? I run out of time? Killed two guys. Oh, they were both scavs? Are we supposed to be on the same side? I don't know. Traveled more than three kilometers. 
Oh, I did 458 damage dealt the body. Oof. Eight hits. Two fatal hits. That's pretty good. Well, folks, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Is It Any Good? Short answer is Escape from Tarkov. Maybe? Um, I, I feel like the gunplay feels pretty good. I think if you sunk about 40 hours into this game, you could probably find some enjoyment out of it at the end of that. I don't know, man. I feel like they are throwing up a lot of obstacles to new players for the sake of difficulty, and that is not doing a good job. I think the gunplay is great, it's realistic, and I feel like the game should be punishing based off of that. You know, you should want to land those shots. You should be afraid of getting shot. But that being said, you got to get the player in before you start beating them on the head. I, I played, what, two matches? And it's like, yeah, I guess it could be fun, but it felt very empty. The gunplay was just kind of enjoyable while shooting, but it didn't feel like there was consequence to the shooting. And I just felt like I was wandering around lost. And I feel like I could get over that by playing about 10 hours of this game. And quite frankly, if you're requiring your new players to sink 10 hours into the game before they feel acclimated or used to it, and you're not actively teaching them during that 10 hours, you expect them to just kind of flounder till they swim? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. I feel like I've wasted $45 in buying into this closed beta. And quite frankly, I want to forget the experience. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, I want you to scroll down to the comments and put in there, what are some more games you want me to try? Games that I have never seen or touched before, but I'm willing to give one hour of my time and an objective judgment to. Till next time, bye. I know you liked that video. I know you're gonna like and comment as well. What I don't know is if you're gonna subscribe. <laughs>